hello friends welcome once again in this video i'll be sharing with you how to make plantain chips i'll be sharing with you three different ways of making plantain chips here i have my unripe plantain i'll cut make a straight line and peel the back from it After peeling the back of the plantain from it, I'll go ahead and slice with my kitchen grater. You can see how tiny they are coming out. Once I'm done with the process of slicing the plantain, I'll go ahead and add them to my preheated oil. I add them one after the other so that they don't stick to each other. Once I'm done adding them to the oil, I'll give it a stir so that both sides can be well fried. I'll fry them until they become golden brown. And I'm also frying them on a medium heat. Dilute some salt in water. Add them to the planted chips when they are halfway fried. This will help to distribute the salt evenly among the plantain chips. So I'll go ahead and add about two spoon to the frying plantain. Please, if this is your first time of watching my videos, I want to say thank you for clicking to watch. Kindly click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that when I upload new videos, you'll be among the first person to be notified. And to my amazing returning viewers, I want to say thank you so much. I appreciate you. After allowing it to fry for some time, I'll go ahead and stir together once again. Once they become golden brown, I'll be removing them from the oil. I will set aside, then go ahead for the second method. For the second method of making plantain chips, I'll be slicing them directly into my preheated oil with my kitchen grater. After slicing the plantain into the hot oil, I'll give it a stir so that they don't stick to each other. Once it's cooked halfway, I'll also be adding to it the salt solution. Then, after some time of fry, also give it a stir so that both sides can be well fried. Once it's nicely fried, I'll be removing it from the oil. Then I'll set aside. Then we'll now go to a third method of making plantain chips. For this third method, I'll be slicing the unripe plantain with my knife. Make sure to use a sharp knife and cut them very tiny. But if you don't want to use your kitchen knife, you can also use your kitchen grater. After slicing the alright plantain, I'll transfer it into a bowl. I'll add to it some salt and chilling powder. I'll then marinate them together. Cover and set aside for about an hour. This process should be done carefully so that the unripe sliced plantain doesn't get break. So after mixing them together carefully, I will cover, then set aside for about an hour. After one hour, I'll begin to transfer them to my preheated oil. I've also been doing this one after the other so that they don't stick to each other. I'll fry them on a medium heat and stir at intervals so that they don't get burnt. Once they are well fried, I'll be removing them from the oil. Then we have our plantain chips ready. 
now that you have learned three ways of making plantain chips, please let me know the one you prefer in my comment section. Whether you are making plantain chips for commercial purpose or for your home, these three methods can be used. And here we have our nicely fried plantain chips. It came out very beautiful and crunching. Please don't forget to like this video, comment, and share this video with your loved ones. Thanks for staying back to watch. See you in my next video. God bless.